we're on to question 11. Negative 3 square plus negative 2 cube is equal to now let's see what we get for that negative 3 squared what it really means is negative 3 times negative 3 alright negative 3 by negative 3 plus negative 2 cube meaning negative 2 by negative 2 by negative 2 now 3 3 is 9 and you know negative by negative is a positive so it's a positive 9 plus now there are 3 negatives that multiply negative times negative gives you a positive times negative gives you a negative so it's plus negative 2 2 is 4 4 2 is 8 so 9 plus negative 8 is the same as 9 minus 8, which is 1. So question 11 is C. Let me see if I can locate it here. I want to locate question 11, and it's the answer for question 11. All right. It is C. Okay. So question 11 is C. Let's look at question 12 now. Sixteen in base ten <coughs> may be written in base two as all right. If you have sixteen in base ten, you want to copy it, you want to convert it to base two. Now First of all, 16 is 2. <laughs> 16 is 2 to the 4th. Now, no, 1610 may be written in base 2 as. Oh, this is base 10, right? 1610 maybe in base 2 as now here since this is 16 in base 2 you know that 2 to the fourth is equal to 16 all right now 2 to the fourth in base 2 will look like 10 to the fourth in base 10 one and four zeros <coughs> one and four zeros so question 12 c question 12 <coughs> no b i mean b one and four zeros but let's look at it another way all right Yeah, let's look at it this way. <clears throat> if you want to convert a base 10 number to a base 2 number, what you need to do, first of all, you write down the number. This is base 10. And you divide by 2. 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8. Then remainder remainder is zero and the remainder would be the numbers that you quote after bring down the eight eight divided by two four remainder zero let me put the remainder on this side bring down the four four divided by two is two remainder zero and bring down this two Remember, you brought down the 8, brought down the 4, and you bring down this 2. Alright? 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 remainder, 0. <coughs> then bring down this 1, 1 divided by 2 is equal to 0 remainder 1. No, 0 remainder 1. 
right then you read upwards one zero 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 that's one and four zeros all right let's continue now a boat was traveling on a bearing of 270 degrees in what direction was it traveling let's look at something here you have north south east west all right the bearing is 270 degrees remember bearings are measured from north in a clockwise direction and then you go 270 this is 90 180 270 so the boat would have been going this way west so Christian 13 a so a should be for Christian 13 right And let's look at this other question now. The heights in centimeters of 10 students are 150 and so on and so forth. The range of heights is... Hmm. Since it's asking about range, let's look at the largest, smallest and subtract them. The largest number is in here is what? 170. Right, it seems to be 170 minus... It's the smallest number. Let's see, 153, 152, no 151, no 150, nothing in the 60s. So, it's 170, 152. Alright. <coughs> so, 70 minus 52, well, 70 minus 50, you know, 50 is what? Two. So it's going to be 70 minus 50 is 20. Okay. So the answer is B. Question 14. Answer is B. Where is question 14 now? Right. The answer would be B. Let me erase what is up here and continue. Now, the area of the trapezium is, let's see, 1 way you could work this out is to cut the trapezium right here and you you're going to have a rectangle on this side and a triangle on this side so what's the area of the rectangle is 12 by 3 which is 36 cm square all right no not 12 by 3. 12 is all the way up here. It's 8 by 3. 8 by 3. So what you get is 8 by 3 is equal to 24. Right? That's 24. Now what about the triangle? If this is 8 and all of this is 12, then what that means is that from this distance to this distance is actually 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 4, 4 units. And this 3 centimeters over here, it holds on this side. Alright? Now, the area of this is half base, half of 4 times the height of 3. Half of 4 is 2, 2, 3, 6. 
when you add up 24 and 6 you're going to get 30 so question 15 C which is 30 all right we take away from that point and move on later on 